Hey devs, assuming you built your React app and now you want to upload it to your server, the first thing you have to do is build it with this command. Go to one of your terminal windows and run npm run build. You'll notice that a build folder has been created. This combines all of the code from your node modules, public and source folders. Inside you'll find all the files needed for your build, your CSS, your HTML, and your JavaScript. And the code will be minified. Let's take a look at the HTML file. All unnecessary white space has been removed and the HTML file is all on one line. Originally it looked like, if we go to your public folder, you had comments and white space and formatting, but once it's built, it's compressed in this minified version, all on one line, minimum white space. The same thing for your JavaScript. Let's take a look at, if we go to the static folder, you'll see folders for CSS, JS, and media. So let's take a look at the JavaScript. And you can see that it has been minified. Um, and it's wrapping here, but it's really on one line. All the necessary formatting and white space has been removed. And if you notice, the variable names have been reduced to single letter. Now I'm going to format this so we can just see the code. And you can see that it's been, this, this is uh, the result of minification. So you wouldn't want to code like this because the variable names do not have intuitive names. Let's take a look at the CSS files. Again, minified. Um, optimize the all unnecessary white space, formatting, and shortcuts are implemented. I'm going to save to format. I have a, um, an extension which formats the code when I save. So you can see this is what the unminified CSS looks like. So this is what we're going to copy up to the server. So let's compare the file sizes. So these three folders are where the code comes from when it um, goes into the build folder. And if we look at the properties, we can see that it has 156 megabytes in size of files. Compare that to the build folder, which is 604 kilobytes, so much smaller. And that's not just from minification. Um, it's a smart build in that it only copies the code that you use. So if we look under node modules, you'll see there's a lot of um, apps in here and only the apps that we used actually get compiled into the build. So it's a smart build. You can serve the build folder locally by typing serve s build. And that starts the local server on port 5000 for localhost. So I'm going to go to my browser and put in HTTP localhost and then use port 5000 and you can see it runs. If we view the source you can see that these paths are absolute meaning that they start with a forward slash and if you're copying these build files to the root of your server then that's fine but what I want to do is copy this to a subfolder. So what I have to do is 
edit package.json and add the property homepage and then specify the uh, folder path, the absolute folder path. I'm going to call it test1, put in the forward slash, very important. Then you must run npm run build and rebuild your build folder with the new paths. Now I'm going to FTP these files from the local build folder up to my web server in the test1 remote folder. Now that the files have finished copying up to my server, let's go check it out. And it worked. I'm going to view the source and you can see that these absolute paths now have a subfolder absolute path of test1. So everything's loading properly. So that's how you create a build and copy it up to your server. And I'll see you for the next release.